Okay, this is a quick, really quick little uh, tutorial to explain what the term cracking in, in chemistry means. Um, so cracking is basically when we split larger alkanes or hydrocarbons into smaller ones. So why would we want to do that? Well, basically, there's greater demand for the shorter chain ones. The longer chain ones, lubricating oils, bitumen, you know, those sorts of things, we don't need or, or use as large quantities of those um, as we use the shorter chain ones. So things like methane, propane, butane are gases we, we commonly use for heating. Um, and then things like petrol or gasoline, which is mainly, like we said, octane, um, as well as jet fuel, which is a slightly uh, longer one, I think. Um, you know, those are the ones that we really use large, large, large quantities of. So it's it's valuable essentially, or it's worthwhile taking some of those longer chain ones and breaking them down into the smaller chain one, uh, shorter chain ones, um, because commercially or out there in the real world, they're simply more valuable. They're worth more um, because we use a lot more of them. So how do we do this? Well, basically, it involves using a catalyst and or heat, and usually it's both a catalyst and heat. Um, and essentially a catalyst is, is something that helps speed up a reaction, but isn't used up in the reaction itself. Um, so I believe in, in one of these processes, I might be wrong, um, that even platinum, a, a very precious metal, more expensive than gold, is used as a catalyst. Um, or that I may be thinking of another reaction. Um, but the reason you can use platinum, something that's so expensive, um, is it doesn't actually get used up. So it's not a reactant. A catalyst is just something that's there that helps speed up a reaction. Anyway, so cracking often uses a catalyst um, to help speed up the reaction and a whole lot of heat. So what is cracking? Well, it is literally just that. It's, it, it's cracking or splitting um, a molecule, um, splitting a, a longer chain, say, alkane, um, into shorter chain alkanes, um, and or alkenes. So for instance, you can see this alkane here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this would be octane is being split into here. We have one, two, three, four. So this would be butene, ene, because it's an alkene, a double bond. And one, two, three, four, butane, completely surrounded by hydrogens, butane and alkane here. So sometimes you do get alkenes, and that's just got to do with the number of hydrogens. If I split this in the middle, I don't quite have enough hydrogens to put a hydrogen on the end of each. Um, however, you can actually introduce a bit of hydrogen, or the hydrogen can come from uh, other sources um, to, to produce more alkanes rather than um, getting so many alkenes in there too. Um, so the uh, hydrogen might come from water or hydrogen gas, uh, might be added in the process to, so that you get more of the alkanes rather than the alkenes. But the, the gist of it is it's not too important. Cracking is, is this idea that you can split um, larger chain alkanes or hydrocarbons um, into shorter chain ones. And octane probably is already considered a shorter chain one. This probably applies more to even longer chain ones that get split into um, shorter chain molecules. And it's just because those shorter chain molecules are more valuable. Um, so coming back, just, just worth mentioning, um, we spoke earlier about um, inter- and intramolecular bonds. So the intermolecular bonds are the bonds between molecules. So this is one molecule of octane. If we had another one here, there'd be a force of attraction between them. Um, and when you heat them, um, if you heat them to a high enough temperature, when they boil or turn into a gas, you're breaking those intermolecular bonds and freeing the molecules. They, they become free of each other and they can fly around separately. Um, in this case, we're actually breaking the intramolecular bond, the bond within the molecule, this covalent bond. And intramolecular bonds, these covalent bonds, tend to be much stronger. So when you heat, uh, when you heat a, an alkane, um, or any molecule, um, you tend normally, in, in most instances, if it's made out of molecules, you tend first to separate the molecules. So it will boil before it will react and the molecule actually breaks down um, before you break any of the bonds inside the molecule. So the intermolecular bonds tend to break first. So in this instance, when you, when you do a, when, 
during the cracking process, the alkanes are, are heated and they'll turn into a gas, and then they need to be heated a whole lot further beyond that um, because it takes even more energy to break the intramolecular, the covalent bonds within the molecule. But once you do that, it will eventually split and break down into shorter chain molecules like these ones. And that can be a, a commercially valuable process. So just remember, this involves a heck of a lot of heat. It takes a lot more heat than just, just evaporating them or boiling them. Um, because you actually have to break those intramolecular, those intramolecular bonds. Um, um, and it often involves the use of a catalyst to, to help speed up this reaction or help, um, help that breakdown. Cool, so that's it for cracking, a nice short one, um, and we'll get on with the next one.